So this is a milking uh, unit for one dairy cow. And as you can see, uh, the cow is uh, standing there ready uh, for milking. And it's important uh, that farmers uh, prepare their animals and uh, milk the animals at the right time regularly to, uh, to enable the animals to uh, go back to the uh, fields for grazing and for feeding. And uh, it's important that uh, uh, the, uh, the cows are uh, led to feed uh, on the required quantities of feeds before their milk because uh, the milk production is dependent on the feeds that the animals feed on. And one other important thing is that the animals should be given enough water. And as you can see, uh, this cow is going to be uh, milked by hand and uh, we have had the uh, teeth being washed and at this time we are uh, we see uh, jelly being applied uh, on the teeth to uh, help in ease in milking. Uh, as you see the cow is being milked and I, had, uh, I was mentioning that one of the traits that a farmer should look into uh, when selecting a good dairy cow is um, the other size. The other should be big enough to hold more milk and um, also look at the teeth and the teeth placement. Uh, the size of the teeth also determines how uh, easy that cow will be milked. Uh, and also the, uh, in, it assists in uh, enabling the farm or the milker, uh, the person milking to easily uh, milk the cow within a very short time. And that is what we refer to as the, the milking speed. Um, as you can see, uh, the cows may differ in terms of their um, aggressiveness and uh, during milking uh, it's important to uh, have the animal uh, feed at the same time you're, you're milking to enable that animal to uh, concentrate and also bring in more milk uh, to the uh, milk glands and to the udder. Uh, so it, it's uh, as you can see this cow um, um, is feeding at the same time bill milk and, and that means she's comfortable uh, in that position uh, as she's being milked. Um, it is important that uh, farmers also milk the animals in clean containers and as you can see we have a milking can uh, made of uh, aluminium and uh, they, we just confirmed from the farmer that the container uh, has been clean and dry and uh, uh, from this point, once the milking has uh, been done, the milk will be uh, taken uh, to uh, another uh, container that is uh, clean and uh, for storage, uh, ready for transportation to the market and some of the milk which will be, uh, be used for uh, local consumption uh, at this home. Um, uh, during milking, it is always important to observe uh, hygiene. The person milking the cow should always wash their hands and um, dry them up before they start milking. And again, the, as mentioned, the items and the utensils being used uh, for milking should always be dry and clean. Uh, the area for milking should also be kept dry at all times. That means it has to be washed uh, with clean water uh, to drain away the dung and, and, and the dirt. And as you can see, uh, the uh, the milk uh, uh, the milking uh, attendant is uh, handling the and washing the teats for the cow and again applying the the jelly to uh, uh, proceed with the milking. Um, again, we also look at uh, how to wash the uh, items and the utensils being used for for milking. The can and the items that are being used should also be uh, washed with the hot water. Uh, while cleaning up the udder, the, the warm water should be used uh, to clean up the, 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 the udder before, uh, the teats before uh, milking uh, starts. So when, when hand milking, the teats should be held from the top uh, uh, and squeezed down to ensure that uh, the milk is coming out in, uh, um, uh, fast enough. And uh, normally the milking time for, for a cow is between um, three to seven minutes and uh, after that you will, the, 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 the animal will uh, be released uh, to go and um, uh, feed and, and, and graze.